Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we made it here to Lafayette Cemetery, which is one of Jeremy's memories. So, let's get into it. Okay, well, here we are. So I think we need to get some more of these plates, maybe? Jeremy sketched this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Hmm. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. Okay, so we need to find some more medallions then. So we have one. I don't think I have everything I need. All right. Okay. Well, I've uh, taken the liberty of just turning off motion blur because I don't think it shows up particularly well in videos, which is not ideal, but there you go. Okay, so let's wander on down this way. This seems to be the only way we can go, so... Hopefully, we won't, um... <laughs> Die horrible death? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Alright, I can hear, I can hear what sounds like, like feet or something. Hello? This is weird. Okay. More bullets I will always take. What's this? More health, we'll always take that as well. Anything else here? No. Okay. Oh, this is spooky. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Come on then, let's have it. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, God. Run. Oh, my God. Please run. Oh, God. I'm still in the water. All right. That really wasn't good. We don't really have much health left. We have one bullet, which is also not ideal. I panicked a bit there. That was probably a little foolish, but... You know. Can't help myself, you know. Okay. Ugh. I tried to imagine what's in that water. Oh! Does it see us? Oh, it sees us. Blow it. No, it doesn't. Alright. Well. Okay. Maybe we go this way. Get this. Alright. Okay. Is it going back round this way? I don't know why I'm whispering. It's not like it can hear me. Oh, God. Oh, the noise is horrible. Alright, so I guess we have to go through there. Oh, okay. What the hell? That was weird. Is there anything over here? No. Alright, so do we just need to sneak through? I think so. Ugh. Oh my god. Please. Go, go, go. Oh. Okay. Do we have to keep sneaking or... Ah. What have we here? More bullets maybe? Yep. Ugh. The noise of them is horrible, isn't it? Ugh. Stinky. Okay. Well. Alright. 
Can we reload our weapon? Yep, 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 yep. Let's do that. Okay, there's a spare shovel there. That's good. Come from, come from there, so... Okay, something's rattling around with small bones. In there, maybe? Okay, give me that. Okay. Is this more health? Yes, thank God. Should we maybe top ourselves off a little bit? Just to be on the real careful side. Uh, don't think we can go in there. I think either way we're going to be screwed. So, maybe we should just go for it. I'm wondering here. I don't know whether we are supposed to be still sneaking or what, but I think it's probably a good option, isn't it? Get some more bullets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to get whatever this is. Bullets or something? Nothing, really? Okay. We still... yeah, okay. Let's just grab that. Thank you. I think we have to explore, don't we? We have to. Because there might be... okay. Well, as that's locked, you can stay in there. I'm not going to um, risk my neck. Um, did my shovel break? Yeah, my shovel broke. Okay, we'll take the sledge. Let's just, 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 just be careful here. I want to make sure that we get everything, you see. Oh, this is, this is, this is. We're full? Really? Well, we might as well have a swig, top ourselves right up. we um, grab that yeah it's just brought us up the other side that's fine all right let's get that plaque and go where did he go oh I don't like that I don't like the fact that it's gone that's that's bad news bears all right let's grab this thing give me that the omen key item. Let's have a look. A rustic plate adorned with a lost allegory. So that's like a bird. Mm. Okay. Ugh, stinky. Oh, I hate it. Are we fully topped? I think we are, aren't we? Are we? Is this fully loaded? No. Can we? There we go. Yep. Okay, well. Let's, okay, let's not do that. It's probably not a good idea. Oh, this is not going to be good, is it? It's going to be something. What the hell? Oh, run! Oh, please run. Please run. Please run. Why are we not running? Why are we not swing? Oh, my God. The dude won't swing. The dude will not swing his weapon. Run, Eddie. Run. Oh, God. Can we reload? Is it dead? Did I kill it? Okay. All right. All right. All right. We've got no bullets. We've got nothing. Really didn't like that. Can we go through there? What's this? Crucifix. There's a weapon? What? What can we do with a crucifix as a weapon? That's my question to the floor. Mm -hmm. Should we maybe not go through here? Maybe this is a bad idea. I don't know what a crucifix will do for us. 
Oh, okay. Can we can we kill it with the crucifix? Okay, I don't know what that did, but oh, hey, 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 crucifixes. Oh, I see. We only get okay. Oh, okay. Um. Crucifix, not bad. Not bad. Let's let's reload our, our gun. Okay, I wonder if there's any kind of means to. Are there any other little sort of hidey holes like that? Do you suppose? Maybe. Guess we're going in here then. Ugh. Is there anything else here? What? What? Okay, well, I guess we're going down. Oh, this is, this is not nice, oh. is it? Eddie? Can we, okay. Let's grab that. I don't like the fact that there's water again, because water slows us down tremendously. But hey, well, when in, um, well, not Rome, but when in some weird crypt in Lafayette, that's what we do. Okay, mm. so we need to add that and then that. Or do we, would the bird be the top because the bird is maybe... Like in the sky, I mm, maybe okay. So so there, and then um, like that. Okay, that 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 worked apparently. <gasps> that was quite the gasp, Eddie. Jeez, Louise, you scared the life out of me, man. With that gasp. What's that? <gasps> Good God. Oh, this I do not like at all. Oh, it's all bones. Oh, how lovely. Isn't that just divine, eh? Just what you want to see when you come into a crypt. Piles of bones. Though I believe there is a large cemetery in Paris where this is what they did. They had to stack all the bones. I'm not sure, I can't be 100%, so, you know. Take it with a huge grain of salt coming from me. Quarry full, let's be real. Well, what's this way? Is there anything here that we can pick up? Or is it just a, a side path to distract? It's a side path to distract, okay. All right. I know we're moving slowly, folks, but I just want to be so careful. All right, all right. Okay. Eddie? Oh my god. Oh my god. Eddie! Ready? Let's go. There's too many of them. I gotta get out of here. Yep. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, bloody... Eddie! Oh my god! Run, you fool! Do you wanna die? Jeez Louise. Okay, yeah. Anything else here? I get the feeling that there were probably lanyettes back there, but 
L lanyaps, sorry, not lanyets. But, well. Definitely couldn't get them. Good God. Not possible. Oof. Okay. Is there anything else? Ah, the other seal. Perfect. Okay. This is a... A bull. Okay. The sacrifice. A rustic plate adorned with a lost allegory. Okay. Brilliant. So, the no, sacrifice. Yeah. So, obviously, that's a bull that's been sacrificed. <gasps> oh, dear me. God. What a journey that was. Dear me. Oh, we're back here again. Okay. Oh, thank God that's over. Well, I wouldn't count my chickens yet, Eddie. We're going to uh, do a little bit of a hunt round just to make sure we've not missed anything here. Oh! Oh! Oh, you saw... <laughs> so sorry about that, folks. <laughs> that was me jumping out of my skin. Bloody birds, for God's sake. Scared the life out of me. Crying out loud. All right, I just want to see if there's anything here. Because I don't think we've been here. But can we go in here? <gasps> this doesn't look good. There's somebody dead. How would she, she... What? Wait, that's the writer. Oh my god. All right, well, maybe we have to... Maybe we have to put the piece in and that'll open up. I don't know. But that's definitely not good. Good grief. Poor woman. All right. This way. Where's the door? Okay, here we go. Hmm. The omen, the blessing, the sacrifice. I think... Okay, let's just put them in. Um... So... Hmm, okay. I think the, the, the bird will need to go to the top. Do you think? Oh, wait, they have to conjoin in the middle, don't they? So, can we, yep, there, that. Um, the bull needs to be swapped there and rotated, I suppose, there, and then, oh, no, and then the, this one. Like that, no? Oh, wait, the bull's not quite right. Like that. There you go. Okay. Now what? Oh my god! Who is this? Please don't touch her. Who are you? Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? Yeah. I made, I made a terrible promise with someone. The Dark Man. Who is he? Mm. No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken in Dissetto won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. 
You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. I'm not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should I- Look out! Behind you! What? Run! Don't let him take you! What? Oh. Oh god! <sighs> Is that Elizabetta? My everything. Okay. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then bind out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again. Perhaps in Teruaya. Oh, my love. Jeremy. Wow. Okay. Luggage key. Brilliant. Hmm. Jay Hartwood. Ah, so it's to his luggage. All right. Hmm. Well, okay, so so is she... Is she dead or asleep? She's dead. Oh, God. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Well, I mean, wow. All right, let's... Um... Okay. Barossi's body looked unharmed. Conby couldn't figure out how she died or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto. Hmm. Yes. All right. Well, we can go and open the steamer trunk, and we need to investigate the the parlor, the small parlor. Was it? Yeah, steamer trunk, and investigate the small parlor. Cool. All right. Well, let's open Jeremy's um, steamer trunk first, which I think this is Jeremy's room. Oh no, that was um. Wasn't this? Uh, I can't remember what his name is now. All right, let's let's just have a look. So, Jeremy's room. Oh, it's just further down. Okay, so it's this one. All right, let's let's open this 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 chest. See what's in Looks here. Like everything's back to normal here. Normal? This is normal. What's this? Emily is here. Emily is here. Oh. I mean, it's a pretty good drawing. All right, another clue. Okay, what, what have we got here? Barlow lens. Ah, yes, we need that for the telescope, don't we? Brilliant. A lens that can be fixed to amateur telescopes to increase magnification. Fab. Okay. A telescope lens. Why would he lock that up? All right, so we need to go to investigate the parlour and the drawing room. Brilliant. Okay, so let's just have a look. So where's the parlour? The parlour. <laughs> okay, uh, the parlour is... The small parlour is downstairs, and we need to go to the drawing room anyway, so we need to go down through the ser where the servant's stairwell is, and we should be all right there. Okay, so here we go. Into is this the small parlor? I think it is. The gun in the small parlor. That's what we had to invent. Ah, we can have it. Now we're talking. Hell yeah! Awesome. Got a shotgun. Got old shotty. Love it. What? All right, and then we need to go in here and use the lens, don't we? Okay, here we are. So the Barlow lens. Alright, so... 
Is that? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, my actual god. What? Find the talisman coordinates. Oh, we have to shuffle this around. Look at this, though. Oh, how bizarre. Can we leave the room, or do we have to stay in here? No, we have to stay in here. Okay. Just checking that there's no lanyaps. Okay. Hmm. Well... Those two seem to match up there. Ah. Yes. That one. Oh no. Wait a minute. Well, let's get that over there. Yeah. Uh, up. There we go. <gasps> nine four. S nine four one. Oh, it did it itself that Whoa, time. What's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? The dining Where room. Where is that? That's the dining room. I know where that is. <gasps> and we're back. We're back. Oh my god, okay. Another world seeping into Desetto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Terrawea? Hmm. Okay. Why does this randomly keep playing every so often? That's a little bit weird. Alright, so we need to go to the dining room now. Oh. Okay. That's weird. So... We can... By the looks of it, I think we can get into the dining room just at the bottom... No, the top of the servant stairs there, so let's do that. Okay, let's go. Bam. Through this library. Or small parlour or whatever. What? Huh? What? Oh, I guess we have to go out the other way then. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> God, what the hell? I'll take that pickaxe, actually. I think that might be quite a good weapon to use. Sledge is a little slow. What the hell? Anything else here? Any other lanyaps or anything? Okay. Dude, just, just, just breathe. You're all right. It's weird, I know, but we can, we can, we can do it. Oh! Are we back? We're back. Oh. We're back. Okay. Look, there's nothing in here. Dining room. This is where it was, Here I'm sure. We go. Okay. Alright. Chapter 3. <gasps> oh! Who's this fellow? I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. Wow. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. 
I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Taroeya. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Wow. Look for answers. Okay, well. Very, very peaceful. Very, very pretty. But we will be looking for answers next time, folks. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of a uh, a nicer time here because it seems like a very calm environment, which is lovely. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>